the question is, can can uh, the land be decontaminated? Maybe Steve wants to answer that one. Yes, no, it's, that is a good question for us. Um, until we can demonstrate that no more will self-germinate, um, no, it can't be, can it? And, that, and that's the issue. Um, all these things have to be established. There is some um, evidence around how long that may take, but um, of course I can't discuss that at all. But no, it, as, that's the problem when we get into biologicals and they've got patents on them and they're a new type of product really, because they're not, you know, we're altering life itself here. Um, it's, um, it's a big issue and hopefully over time that we can get some uh, legislation or some control around that and how it does impact on people that want to choose. Because around home we're already finding there's quite a large group of non-GM farmers. They've got 80,000 hectares they supply into a J Japan. They've got a GM free market and of course that's all in jeopardy for them as well. So, so it doesn't just involve organic farmers, it's all non-GM farmers. Um, we, we have to wrap it up now. It's uh, a little bit of time before the next session. Thanks for your attention and uh, we look forward to your support for Steve and, uh, and the issues. So if you could give Steve a big thank you, that would be brilliant.